वॉट इज अ मैनेट एम ए एन ई टी मैनेट वेन एवर वी टॉक अबाउट कम्युनिकेशन और नेटवर्क दिस मीन्स मोबाइल एड हॉक नेटवर्क मैनेट मोबाइल एड हॉक नेटवर्क मोबाइल मीन्स मूविंग नॉट स्टैटिक नॉट स्टैटिक समवे इट्स ऑलवेज मूविंग एड हॉक मीन्स दे इज नो परमानेंट एड हॉक स्ट्रक्चर और इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर द थिंग्स आर एज पर इंस्टेंट दे आर हैपनिंग दे आर नॉट हैपनिंग मीन्स मेकिंग अनमेकिंग देर आर डिफरेंट डिफरेंट पॉइंट विच आर कनेक्टेड दे आर सेंडिंग दे आर रिसीविंग एंड मेनेट इज दिस वन now this is continuously self configuring it is configuring itself every time the configuration will change and there is no infrastructure as i said it is ad hoc we don't need any setup for this for mobile network you need tower or for different networks you need certain infrastructure to be there to be installed and that infrastructure is not necessary here it is not required and these are connected without wires there is no wire in between wireless communication it is happening wireless communication there is no connection of wires that is these are different uh, gadgets different nodes moving here and there sometimes this will be in the network sometime it will not be there and each device in this is free to move a device in a manet is free to move independently in either directions it may go here it may go there that means it may link with this one sometimes it will link with this one so links are also changing and very frequently in very short time these links links are changing that is it is connected to someone sometime it is connected to another one now characteristics of manet what are the characteristics of manet the major ones are dynamic typology or topology bandwidth limited connections energy constraints and limited protection and this at the physical level the first thing is in manet each node act as a host and a router as a host and a router that is if you make a lan then you need to have a router or a switch here you don't need it you don't need it the same same gadget is host also and it is router also at the same time individual behavior it is autonomous it is independent it is it is it has freedom acharan autonomous behavior the nodes can join or leave network at any time that means the type the topology is changing it is dynamic in nature sometimes it will be like this sometimes it may be like this you can assume that the vert vertices of these these uh, figures are the nodes so it changes dynamically every time it changes the third thing is mobile mobile uh, nodes are characterized with less memory because these are mobile nodes these are the radios these are the mobile nodes they have less memory power and lightweight features they can be phone they can be as i said they can be radios So that is why it is. They are characterized by, and there is one more thing which is energy constraint. That is how it comes here. Then comes all nodes have identical features. They have same characteristics. The configuration you can say, and the responsibilities and capabilities. What they are supposed to do, what they are capable to do, they all have somewhat identical nature. That is why we get a completely. symmetric environment we get a completely symmetric environment when a source node and a destination node that is which is sending which is receiving assume that that the messaging is out of range or these are out of the radio range the manets are capable of multi hop routing that is there can be multiple node through which the information message or communication can go through this is called multi hop routing it can take any way these are the different vertices or nodes which are multiple there are different types of uh, different types of networks of this type first is vanets vehicular ad hoc networks vehicular what is there so automobile we are talking about smartphones ad hoc networks s p a n s 
एस पी फॉर स्मार्टफोन वी फॉर वेहिकुलर वेहिकल देन वी हैव आई मैनेट आई हैज कम फ्रॉम इंटरनेट बेस्ड मोबाइल एडहॉक नेटवर्क आई मैनेट दीज आर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ मैनेट वी हैव वेहिकुलर एडहॉक नेटवर्क दिस मीन्स वेन इट वेन वी हैव वी हैव टू मूविंग वेहकल्स और यू हैव अ वेहकल और अ रोड साइड इक्विपमेंट विथ विच द नेटवर्क हैज टू बी मेंटेन और एडहॉक नेटवर्क हैज टू बी मेड दिस इज द केस देर आर देर इज अ वेरिएशन आई एन वेनेट दैट इज इंटेलिजेंट आई एन इज फॉर इंटेलिजेंट सो इंटेलिजेंट वेहिकुलर एडहॉक नेटवर्क दिस ए आई इज आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस दिस दीज आर इन गॉर्थम्स वेयर इट डेवलप्स इट्स इंटेलिजेंस बाय इट सेल्फ ओवर द पीरियड ऑफ टाइम and that helps different type of uh, activities or they are used in for example vehicle to vehicle collision accident so they this acts in a intelligent manner this is was one of the example i am providing you so this is how intelligent vehicular ad hoc networks i and venets are there when we have smartphone ad hoc networks spans now spans there are underlying technology which an enhances or which are the basic technologies which may be used for example we have bluetooth we have wifi so influence the existing hardware in commercial commercially available smartphones smartphones already have these bluetooth and wifi so peer to peer network that is individual to individual network we don't rely on cellular carrier or cellular carrier network we don't need, need any wap or wireless access points or any traditional type of network infrastructure we don't need we just employ the smartphone we have bluetooth and wifi this is how we use this this is called spns now span differ from the traditional hub and spoke networks uh, like the wifi direct it is somewhat different in that you know these uh, in that they support multi multi hop relays and there is no notion of group leaders so there is no group leader peers can join there is no there is no boss the different nodes can come join or they can leave without destroying the network they can come in any time they can leave any time without disrupting the network this is called the smartphone ad hoc networks i manets internet based mobile ad hoc networks i manets and these networks they are link of mobile nodes and fixed internet gateway nodes internet gateway nodes for instance we have multiple sub manets we can have manets which are we can which we call it as sub manets they are they can be multiple of sub manets and they can be connected in a classic which we already saw hub and spoke vpn virtual private network and we can create a geographically bhongolic distributed manet geographically distributed manet using this i manet now what are the pros of manets what are the benefits first first thing is it is scalable so more number of nodes can be formed it can the number of nodes can be increased it can be discrete you can scale it you can unscale it and the networks can be set up any place any time any place any time the place where some some calamities happen or it is difficult to have infrastructure or any other technology then that place and at any time this can be set up less expensive because we have wired network it takes infrastructure cost and to maintain it it is less expensive as compared to that now they provide nan provide information also and different services and it is regardless of any geographic position or any location so information services are available regardless of any location or geographical position but there are certain limitations or challenges also first the wireless link characteristics are time varying in nature it changes for example uh, let me explain it there are transmission in impediments whenever we talk about transmission we are we talk about electronics and whenever we take uh, you know things going here and there so there can be fading that is the signal it it loses its power or intensity that is fading path loss is there blockage is there the second signal other signal it can interfere with some destructive inf- interference can be there so there are su- certain susceptible behavior of this because wireless channels are susceptible to this so this is a kind of challenge the wireless characteristics that is not very uh, not very clean 
Now, limited range of wireless transmission, the data rates are low when compared to the wireless networks. The other wireless networks or wired networks, the data rate is quite low. Then there is one more thing, packet losses due to errors in transmission we just saw whenever we are transmitting something. In a transmission, there can be different type of errors. We have already seen this in electronics. So, Manet experience high packet loss due to there are certain hidden terminals. And there are hidden terminals that causes collisions, interference, frequent breakages in path caused by mobility of the nodes. And there are the possibility of increased collisions also. Collision uh, that is the because of the presence of hidden terminals. And this is the problem which often occurs in Manet. Packet losses due to errors in transmission. If this is an ad hoc network and the nodes are coming and going. There may be chupa hua or hidden networks and that is the that may be the cause of errors, multiple errors in the transmission. Coming to the frequent network partition, because as I said, same thing, the movement is so, so frequent, there is a partition, often leads to the partition of network. That is, this is, there are multiple node, intermediate node, that is why partition happens. Limitation of mobile nodes, because we are talking about mobile gadget or mobile stuff. Mobile nodes have short battery life. And because of the short battery life, the, this is a limitation because the communication needs to be every time. Here it may not be possible sometime that you always have things connected and that thing has a battery power always. So battery is less, so the network may not be established for a long time. The application of manets are in various, various different fields, mainly in military defense. So ad hoc networking would allow the military to take this advantage of this uh, technology, there are different uh, units or soldiers, they can transmit the information on the move with adding and linking the nodes and where you don't have infrastructure or you don't want to put any infrastructure, maybe strategically. So that is why this is the use. Rescue operation. Now, wherever there is some nuksan, some emergency rescue operation, for example, we have flood, earthquake, fire or any of this natural calamity, any disaster of this type, relief efforts can be, can be very difficult. Here, rescue operation manet can be used. Now, there, there can be business work also, that is, you want to exchange certain information with your, with your team or with, with someone you want, this can be done. Then, classroom and conference, these are very personal use or the institutional use. The temporarily the multimedia network can be made and where you can have a notebook computers, you can spread and share information among the participants, for example, in a conference or a classroom. So this is give and take of the data or information. Personal area network, a single person can be made because you have, it's a, it is having a short range and you are there, you may have different gadgets and this manet can be a, a pan also. So this is about manet. Thank you so much. Take care of yourself.